Look at him go. Welcome back to Crash Bandicoot Warped, everyone. The last episode was a road race level. I just completely drew a blank, but now we're going back to the Arabian Nights. Hint, a special gem lies at the end of a death row. Oh, this does have a death row. Okay, I'm going to try to get there without dying. It could cause me to have to use my Arabian bazooka. In another Arabian night. All right, I'll stop that. Because that's going to get old, like, real fast. But either way, we are in another Arabian night because it is actually nighttime. Uh, which is why I'm making the joke. You guys get it. Can I actually take these guys out with my bazooka? D I did that. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Man, that's awesome. Oh man, I didn't even know you could. Thought I, my mind has been blown. Okay, I need to not die. So can I just shoot those guys anytime? I can. Oh gosh, don't do that. I have a death platform to reach. Or at least try to. Oh man, I'm taking a lot of unnecessary risks considering that I'm trying to do that. Boop. Um, I need to... There we go, there's one. And I guess this guy's the other one. And is there another one? I think there's another one on that side, isn't there? There is. You thought you could fool me, did ya? You can't, but I still can't hit you, so... It's your lucky day, pal. No! Well, that didn't take long. Gosh dang it. I can fly. Why am I... <sighs> Why am I struggling with these kinds of levels when I can just fly? Ah. Uh... Gosh dang it. That makes me physically upset. It makes me feel physically ill. I'm fine. Everything gonna be fine. Up. Ah. He thought he could sword me. But I anti-sworded him. And here we are. Oh, can I just hit them like that? I can. Okay, but only when they're there. The advantage of the bazooka is that it just hits them whenever. Boop. Uh, boop. There we go. There's no actual... And the death platform's right there! I feel like I could have made that. If only I hadn't died. Oh my gosh. Can I make that, please? Yeah. Uh, no! I got cut in half. <sighs> Can I just do that from here? Um, oh, I think I did. Yeah, I did. I'm talented. I'm a talented bazooka man. <gasps> I can't bazooka in the air, though. I'm not that good. Uh, I can bazooka from up here, though. Boop. I bazooka him. And look at all those wumpas. Man, they look so delicious. I wanna try one. It makes me want a mango. Okay. This time, I can be extra careful because I almost died <laughs> again. Is there a TNT in this? I don't trust. There's just something about this I don't trust. Call me paranoid, but okay, it's fine. Everything's fine. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Gosh dang it. Wait, did, was there blood? That's graphic. Man, this is a kid's game. Come on. How did none of those hit him? I need a better angle. There we go. I applied the better angleness. There we go. I'm just gonna... Yeah. Boop. I just skipped that altogether. Well, maybe they do have to be there. All right. I'm gonna try not to get sliced again. I don't want to get sliced again. You brought a sword to a bazooka fight. Boop. Nice. That's satisfying. It's always satisfying to just break a bo- Oh my gosh! Just break a whole bunch of boxes. <laughs> my TF2 soldier instincts are kicking in and I'm aiming for the feet so that even if they- You know. You, you all know that, right? That that's the trick for playing as actually anything that involves a rocket launcher. You aim for the ground that they're standing on so that if you miss, the rocket just doesn't fly off, you know? It does look like Agrabah. That's so cool. All right, I'm gonna try not to forget that I have a bazooka this time. <sighs> Shouldn't be too hard, right? Yeah, if you hadn't seen the last episode, I did actually forget that I have a bazooka that I could have been using on the bonus level. <gasps> okay. On the bonus round? Okay, my gosh. So I'm gonna try not to let that happen again. Mm, boop. Um, can I just bazooka the box in there? There we go. Oh man, I'm gonna do this. Oh man, if you hit boxes, you actually automatically get the wumpas. I actually just noticed that. That is remarkably cool. And now getting these shouldn't be a problem either. See, I can just do that. <laughs> okay. Ooh, I almost jumped right over that somehow. How did that happen? 
Ah, oh, monkeys think they're so cool with their pots. I'll show him who's cool. And then I'm gonna try to use the bazooka sparingly like I said I would an episode ago. And have not been doing it at all. My main reason though for using the bazooka on this level was to try to get the death platform alive. Get to the death platform alive, you know what I mean. Hey, at least I got a gem! That's cool, right? Yeah, that's consolation. The Time Twister. That went pretty well. I remember now I can play faster. Now there's probably gonna be another like death platform or something that I'm gonna try to get to. See, I am, if you have seen the uh, last episode, you probably realize I am recording this the exact same day. And it was such a frustrating day today. Frustrating day at class and everything. The Mad Belmas. Um, is this, yeah, that's Flaming Passion. So, get to do this now. Crash. Coco, remember, it is not only Dr. Cortex that we battle. <coughs> Beware of Uka Uka, my children. He is a far more dangerous enemy than anyone can imagine. No pressure. Are these the bombers? Oh man, those are the bombers. I don't know why, but those things look really scary. Oh man, maybe it's just because they're so big? I don't know, they're big, but they're really slow. Can I have a speed boost of any kind? Man, I like the flight controls in uh, Sly 3 better. If anyone's ever played that and actually knows, oh my gosh, what it is I'm talking about. Gosh dang it! Can I just take these guys out, please? Oh my gosh, they are just... Mm. Yeah, I like the plane levels in Sly 3 a little bit better. Oh, that was nice. I don't think I actually got hit by that guy. Am I hitting this one at all? Doesn't look like I am, actually. All right, now if I could just stay ahead of the pattern, then the rest of this should be simple. Oh, dude, I actually do have to worry about getting all the boxes, though, don't I? Oh, man. They're gonna take a while. I guess I've got balloons to help you identify where they are. I probably shouldn't be breaking this health box, like, so soon in advance, but, you know. I think I can do the rest of it without having to get any more health, right? So yeah, if you're just joining us after a while, or if you're just joining us, period, uh, hi, my name's Catalyst. Uh, gosh, I've been shot, and I've been shot some more. But, we are nearing the end of this game. You, I have other Crash Bandicoot series available for you to watch. I played them completely out of order, playing the second game first, because that's the one that I grew up with. But hey, at least I still played the third game last, right? Uh, also, uh, yeah, that's where I was going with this. <laughs> I'm going to be playing Spyro, the Reignited Trilogy, real soon. Like, I'm going to try to start that this week at some point. I don't want to take out all the bombers until I get all the boxes, right? Uh, I keep forgetting how to do barrel roll because I think it's different in Sly. It's just similar enough to remind me of Sly 3. Oh my gosh, how come they can fly higher than that? And what the heck? Oh gosh, my boxes say 9-11 and it's really close to the anniversary of 9-11. That's creepy, I don't like that. Give me another box. There we go, okay. Now I say 10-11. And there's the 11th right there. Please let me have it so I can get out of here and get on with my life. That's not the barrel roll button. Why can't I remember the barrel roll button? There we go. That's what it goodness looks like. One thing that is kind of nice about this versus Sly 3 is I don't have to worry. I don't have to worry about ammo. I can just keep shooting until it's over, pretty much. Gotcha. And I got you. And I got you. All right, only a couple more of these bombers left. You know these. These bombers just aren't bombing. I haven't seen a single bomb from any of these bombers. They're like actually being dropped, which is good. I guess that means I'm doing my job right, kind of. Oh man, he's clear over there. This is gonna take ages. There we go, now I should be able to take this last guy out and Pete, where'd he go? There he is, okay. Huh, <sighs> heck yeah, that went pretty well. Good job, me. And good job you for watching this episode of Crash Bandicoot. I should play as Coco for this next one. I haven't played as Coco in ages. And look, <laughs> Coco always gets the tomb levels. It's Laura <coughs> Croft's predecessor. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna actually save this for the next episode. Ha, I tricked ya. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching this episode of Crash Bandicoot Warped. The next one should be the last of the story, but I'm also gonna try to do the, um, 
whatever it's called, uh, Future Tense in the either that episode or the one after that. So thank you so much for watching this episode of Crash Bandicoot Warped. Please leave a great big like for me if you enjoyed it. I know I did. Hit subscribe, ring the bell, tell me what all your favorite parts were down in the comment section below. And I will see all of you next time. Goodbye, everyone.